Okay guys, so you're probably wondering where is she right now? Why is the vlog starting like this? We've never started the vlogs like this. I'm at the airport with, take a guess who it is. Take a guess. Let's see if you got it. The other girl who owns this channel. <laughs> Big surprise. I know, probably the biggest shock of your guys' life was seeing Brianna here, honestly. So yesterday, okay? You know what happened? Let me tell you guys a quick little story. Talk Yesterday, I was sitting in my bed just thinking about things, right? And I remember my friend Tasha, who's a Swifty, we're Swifty friends. You know Tasha? Yes, yes, I love Tasha. We love Tasha. Tasha, we love you. And I was just thinking, I was like, I remember her telling me that she had Ladies tickets. Ladies and gentlemen, the final boarding oh, call you for Air Strand. I was, how dare they? Okay, that is probably us, but we still have a second. We're right here. Oh my our queen is here again. Guys, that's our friend's um, girlfriend. She's like the sweetest person ever. We love you. We love you. Okay, <laughs> we got it. We got it. Okay, but basically, and then I remember her telling me she had tickets for the UK Aero Show, Aero Show, right? And she was telling me she might sell them if she gets Toronto tickets or something, right? So I was thinking about that, and I was like, I would love to go to the UK. And then I'm not even kidding, two hours later, I get an email being like, the Hunger Games would like to send you to London, England. And I'm like, Pardon? I was like, this is a joke. And then I look at it and the email says, we have an opportunity for November 8th, which is Wednesday. And I saw this yesterday, okay? And then I emailed them back. I was like, I'd love to do this, but um, is it actually on November 8th? Or is that like a typo? And they're like, no, no, it's in two days. You would have to leave tomorrow. And I'm like, guess I'm going to England tomorrow. And, and then Sahar texts me that. I'm like, do you have enough a plus one for this? She literally goes, I'd love to go to England. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. I would love to go, here I am. Here we are. And then um, they confirmed me within like an hour got our flights booked and we are now at the airport less than like 36 hours later and we're going to england for the hungriest uk premiere is that not crazy you guys yeah and apparently we have the best hotel ever in right by the big ben it's 10 minute walk so i have a dinner like a director dinner i get to go to the freaking dinner and like a q a with the entire cast like the directors of the movie and brianna can't come to that but then the next day is the uk premiere of the movie and we're like really excited about that and it's so much fun and we're in the best location ever we're in a five-star hotel i love the cineplex that made this happen for us thank you and yeah i'm so excited we're about to go board because the line is empty oh, we're the last ones okay now. we gotta go how do we feel brianna well now that i discovered wait oh Shh. one button this look how much it reclines Guys, so this is we're flying Air Transit, no promo, okay? Air Transit, if you see this, I think you should from you should work with me. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> hey, but, what about me? And Brianna too. We love we're a you. Duo. Guys. We are a duo. So if you give it to me, I have to give it to her. But I'm just saying with it. I'm gonna be honest, the chairs, not the most comfortable on her. But, but this, I love this situation. Look at the leg room. Is that not a really good amount of leg room? It reclines really good. These move up and down, which we, I've never seen an airline do that. And I'm honestly I'm content because I feel like we're gonna have a good flight. We did just take melatonin, so. We did also <laughs> take some melatonin. We're trying to plan what our days are gonna be. So the first thing we're doing for sure, so we have to get to our hotel. Mm -hmm. By the time we get to our hotel, it's probably gonna be like noon. That's so sad. I know, right? We land at 9.30, but then we have to go through like the border situation. And then it's also an hour to get to our hotel. And the melatonin is starting to hit, guys, sorry. We're gonna do the Big Ben thing first because that's the classic UK. And it's only, it's a top of the block. That was my number one thing. So I'm so happy that it's so close because it's like guaranteed. It's guaranteed. We're doing it. It's the first thing we're doing. So we're gonna get ready in our hotel bathroom and like leave our bags because we can't even check in until like three. We're gonna do Big Ben. We might do high tea. Everyone's been recommending high tea to us. So I feel like that's a good thing. Wait, you still didn't explain what that is. So from my understanding, high tea is just like fancy tea. Like it's okay. like they give you tea and like cookies and like vibes. Okay. My it's like a little teapot, a little like I think it's up vibe. We're gonna we're gonna learn together. Um and then what else other than high tea, what do we do? Oh, the thing that's, um, I forget what it's called, but it's like right across our hotel, remember? We looked at it. That statue of the guy, the guy, the musketeer. We're so cultured. We're so cultured. <laughs> it's really famous, I wish I knew the name of it. So famous that we don't know the name, but potentially the London Bridge more, if not, Thursday. But we are gonna take off soon, so we're gonna go. Guys, it's pink. It's pink. I've never seen it. <laughs> this is so cute. Transit, I love you. Guys, we're about to land in London, England. Brianna, how do you feel? I'm tired. Oh my God, my hair looks crazy. <laughs> Take the thing off. <laughs> the <eyelash. laughs> Why did you tell me I look like that? Hey guys, I'm starting to see land. So you'll see the land. Oh my God. <laughs> they say home is where the heart is. But God, I love the English. Look at us. Whoa, the train tracks. Oh, you guys are 
we're about to land. We've made it across the pond, one could say. I can already feel the accent coming in. Guys, we've made it to our room, and this is our room tour. Who's this stranger in my hotel room? Security? I'm invited here. Thank you very much. I was invited here. Here's the room. We have a little, what'd you call this? A uh, mud room. A mud room. And then this is our room. We have cute little beds. Brianna and I definitely made ourselves comfortable really quick. It was a little bit cuter before we, you know, <laughs> look at our view. Stunning. I think the view is the best part of this room, you guys. Good afternoon, Dahi. And then let's, let me show you guys the bathroom. The bathroom is so cute. When you first said that when we walked in, I thought you were saying daddy. Y'all, this is such a European bathroom. This is so cute. And guys, there's a bidet and I did use it. I love it. And here's our shower. Very cute. Very fun. Okay. Love. This is our hotel. Is it not stunning? Like, wow. Guys, it's the first day in town. And by first day, we mean it's already like 3 p.m. and the sun's already gone. It's there was on the no floor. Sun. I there heard was to no break sun. You. But these are the outfits. We kind of matching a little bit. We ran behind Shocker. Not oh a shocker. No way. I know. Shocker. <laughs> I did not expect that It's never happened before. Our oh first God, time. Never. Um, but because of that, we can't do as much as we wanted to today because I have to go to a really important dinner that I'm going to take you guys to. And then, yeah, we're just going to go shopping because we both need some clothes. My mm. Dyson Airwrap does not work here. It doesn't. So I have to straighten my hair tonight. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> okay, anyways, we'll keep you guys up with it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we just got our photo ops here, and I think they turned out pretty good. How was yeah, the savory? Definitely gloomier than we're used to, you know? We don't really get some light here. But I think it turned out good, and I'm gonna walk to Zara, because the event that I'm going to, I was told there's gonna be a casual dressing. Turns out it's avant garde. I don't have anything avant garde, so I need something, and wish us luck. Well. Okay, guys, Bri and I actually found a lot of the stuff we needed. She needed black tights, she found it. Yes. I needed a bracelet. Did I get anything else? To oh, and a purse. I got a gold purse, which oh, I didn't need. Wait, did you get the earrings? Oh, I got the earrings as well. I got really cute earrings that I think will go with my outfit. This is so All cute. right, I thought we were in the right area. I don't know where we ended up. Yeah, I do like it. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> How do we get out of here? All right, one second. But it's beautiful. We're in the wrong crevice, but it's a nice crevice. Would you not agree? It's a great crevice. Ignore the state of the bathroom that I'm hiding. It's a girl bathroom, all right? This is my outfit for dinner. She's super cute, super fun. It was supposed to be avant-garde. They didn't tell me this until we're here. I didn't have an outfit. I brought this backup dress and then I just use accessories to like step it up. Look at the shoes. These are the shoes that I'm also wearing tomorrow. Super cute, super fun. Bree and I actually got kind of lucky with shopping. So I was able to find everything I needed. Okay guys, so this is like a really exciting opportunity and I'm so grateful, but I am so nervous. I'm so scared of doing something by myself, especially being so dressed up. I'm not great with attention, so we'll see how this goes. Wish me luck. Coming to join us today, we have our incredible filmmakers Francis Lawrence, Nina Jacobson, Josh Andres Rivera, Icon Hunter I'll sit here and I'll compliment Tom. Chemistry is not something you can fake, which I've said before, I do mean it. And um, there's a lot of trust that comes with working with someone so intimately in scenes that maybe don't necessarily require an intimacy, but a relationship is intimate. And so getting to play that with Tom was so easy. I trusted him immediately. I was comforted by him immediately and we became very fast friends. And so getting to develop the relationship between Lucy Gray and Coriolanus just kind of fell into place so easily. Yeah, and I think also, like, second on that, by the way. Um, but, like, yeah, it's, it's all on the page as well. Uh, we've been talking about this today, how, like, it's, the relationship is so palpable on the page, in the book and in the script. And so we kind of just had the relatively simple task of, like, of, like uh, putting it on its feet. Um, and, and Francis cur curated a space where we felt really bold to kind of jump in at the deep end. We had to, because we, we hadn't met before pretty much our first day of filming. We met, like, briefly. Yeah. Um, on Zoom and then in, in person. Oh, Briefly in person. But I did feel like I was kind of like walking into a family that had already kind of been a family for a little bit. They had done half the film before I came in. But I guess I guess I can't answer it because y'all's y'all's vibe had already been like sort of developed and established. And it was I mean it was a party. What did you answer. think of the costumes? Lucy, Lucy Gray is a performer. <laughs> what I love about storytelling and what we all get to do 
for a living is the ability to subvert expectations in entertainment. I hope that people actually have very different points of view depending on who they are and how they experience the movie about, I think running through this romance is a whole, un, you know, real or not real component as well. And is it a performance? Is it self-interest or is it love? It starts with Suzanne writing these books where she's asking really big questions about humanity and. Um, and what makes us tick and what makes us connect or disconnect um, on like a really big scale, um, like a societal scale. I do this because I want to ask those questions about humanity, like I want to, when I delve into a character, I want to get to the core of what makes them who they are. And Snow is one of those guys who, like, everybody loves to hate him and they love to hate him because it's like, how can a human be so despicable? And so I guess I hope that, as well as being like deeply entertained, um, people walk out asking those questions of like, like, are people born bad? Or, or is, it, is it, you know, what they have to go through? Um, and everybody has to go through something different. Yeah, and I just really hope people walk out the door going like, whoa, that was, that, that hit. That, you know, that like, was me. That, yeah. I think everyone in our screening had to sit for a good 10 minutes and was like, we need to let that marinate for a second. Yeah, like a surprising amount of people this week have said that out of all the films, they feel like this one, uh, not, not to like, pat us on the back too much, but like, you know, out of all the films, this one feels, um, kind of the deepest in terms of the psychology behind it. Guys, they gave us wine. And you know, I can't say no to wine. We just met the entire cast. I didn't get the chance to talk to everybody, but I talked to um, Hunter, super speed, and then I got a picture with Josh. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Y'all, they gave me like really one bite. I don't know if it's because I'm vegetarian, but is this a soup? I think it's a soup. That makes more sense. Maybe I've had a little too much wine, but the way the servers are doing everything, it's all in sync. This guy, okay, nods to them. Yeah, I witnessed him nod. He nods to them and then they'll do whatever and I'm like, is this supposed to be like um, copying the capital? Like, is that what they do with the capital? Are we supposed to be the capitals? And people are serving us? Because that's the vibe I'm getting. They wait for a nod and then they do everything. It's cool though. Watch. I'm telling you, it's supposed to mean something. I haven't watched the Hungry movies in a while, so I don't really know, but I think it's supposed to be like, we're the capital, you know? Very interesting. Now we have the next vegetarian dish, which is a risotto. We love. Guys, look who I'm with. I'm with the epitome of London, Miss. Soup girl. I'm not even from London, you know? That's but so funny. the London core right here, aka Sabrina, the real queen, the sweetest human I've ever met in my entire life. Oh, stop. Make sure to watch her stuff, you guys. Amazing. How did you feel about the dinner? Yes, sir. It was so good. They came and they provided. They provided. Look at this. Dessert. That was actually delicious. How pretty! Did you like it? I ate everything. I loved it. You have to meet the house, right? No, I wasn't here for the Q and A. Guys, so what's the best cute? part? He's so cute. I'm not gonna lie to you. He was so fun. <laughs> Guys, listen. Well, during the uh, Q and A session, I was smiling at him. He smiled and made my heart stop. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like him and Rachel have a little thing. Damn, you weren't there to witness it, but they were like. Rachel has a crush, I'm gonna tell you guys that, but I will show you the videos, that girl has a crush and I don't blame you, I do yeah. not blame you, but I was hoping to shoot my shot, but I guess not You missed that I missed it And she stole your man, Rachel stole your man At least it's Rachel Yeah, yeah. she deserves it, I'll give her that, she deserves that She's talented, she's beautiful, she's gorgeous, like, yes And, and I have a crush on her, like And guys, she's going to the premiere tomorrow, too yeah. But you're, you're interviewing the cast, or? I know, we're making a little cheeky TikTok <gasps> That's why Oh, not a cheeky TikTok. Yeah. Okay, pretty, guys, watch the cheeky TikTok once it's out. And watch the Hunger Games movie. Would you agree they should? Yes. There's some sort of um, alcohol and socialize. Guys, we're supposed to get photos. I don't have anyone to take pictures of me. So, Guys, I'm back at the hotel with Brianna. How was, your, how was your night with your dinner? Oh my God, it was so fun. I got the Taylor Swift British candies. And then I went on a date with myself. I got dinner. It was Clean. fun. I explored a little bit. Guys, we're going to try these on Brianna's TikTok. Yes. So check it out, okay? Because we're going to review it. But it was so much fun. I had a great time. I'm excited to be back. Brianna are just going to chill, take some photos. Mm -hmm. 
and film this review. And then go to bed. So we, we can wake up at 7 a.m. To explore the entirety of All of London. London. Yeah. <laughs> All of London by like 5 p.m. Wish us luck. Okay, besties, it's the next morning, aka my last day here. We leave tomorrow morning, but I'm so tired. We were only able to sleep like four to five hours because we just want to take advantage of our day here, you know, and like grind it out. It gets so gloomy and dark so early that we like, we need some sunlight for like pictures or like just daylight. But recap of last night. So immediately after I took that last video, these super sweet like English influencers started talking to me and they all took photos for me and we all just hung out. I like, we made friends, you know? They were so nice. They were like the sweetest people ever. <sighs> they say home is where the heart is, but God, I love the English. Uh, Brianna and I both just had a really good day, a really good night. We ended up getting some really nice Instagram pictures. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? But also great opportunity and great pictures. And today we're gonna go to Big Ben. We're gonna, we're gonna go get breakfast. So I paid so much money for this stupid breakfast. <laughs> and apparently it's really good. Today's our full on tourist day. Like our big tourist day we're gonna go off today. We're trying to get high tea, but everywhere that we wanna go for high tea, it's completely booked out. Mm. I'm so tired. But I have time to be tired when I'm back in Canada. Okay, hmm? mm -hmm. I'm gonna go shower. <laughs> Yes, thank you. This is so stunning. Yeah. <laughs> We're at our version of afternoon tea because it's, afternoon tea is a whole experience that everybody told it us. It is we, afternoon. We're drinking tea. Close like, enough. This it is, Right? And everybody on earth told us that you need to do afternoon tea. And we're like, we have to do it. It's the one thing everybody's telling us to do. But we had uh, 48 hours here and plus jet lag. Plus uh, we simply couldn't. We were, it just wasn't happening. So this is our version. It's the afternoon. It's tea. It counts. Yeah, maybe next time we're in England. You know, yeah. casually next time we're in England. We'll be back. We have to. We will get afternoon tea properly. But for now, this is what we're doing. I got the Flora tea. She got the Bora Bora Sensational. Very fun. Very exciting. But I'm excited. And we got macarons, which Brianna has been throwing up over every day. I'm like, what if we get macarons? And then we couldn't find them anywhere. And then we finally found this place and she's getting her macarons. I'm so excited. I'm getting vanilla, chocolate, and red velvet. And I copied her and I also got that because I I just want to try European macarons. I'm not, I'm not a big macaron person, but I was like, oh, speaking of the macarons, look at them. They're right here. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not a big macaron girl, but I'm like, if they're the European ones, they're probably the proper macarons. And then... Definitely are good. I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna taste test the red velvet one for you guys. That is really delicious. It's yummy. Mm -hmm. Really good. Love. Guys, I keep spilling the tea, so Brianna's gonna pour it for put me. It down? Wow. We're at the London Eye. Oh. Take in how beautiful. Y'all can't even see like the attention to detail on that building is like something else. Like I was looking, it's so stunning. Like the camera does not do it justice. And then London Eye, I wish we had time to go on it, but we don't. We just got a really important like premiere to go to, so we can't. But we're gonna try to quickly get some photos. Look how beautiful, are you kidding me? <gasps> Oh, stunning. Time for the premiere. Okay, what this is, is Brianna's look, giving very cute daytime, giving beautiful oh, peasant of the I Hunger like Games. Juliet peasant. Like... <laughs> Juliet peasant. Okay. Elevator. I feel like I'm fighting in the Hunger Games. <laughs> and then, this is my look. And then we have someone from the capital. The little I don't, capital. I don't know what that is. I'm killing Brianna today. Oh my god. I'm no, maybe I'll win. <laughs> no. Actually, I'm betting on Brianna to win. Let's. Go! Guys, so let me explain something to you. So, Brianna and I live by this thing called Barbie foot, okay? Mm -hmm. We really think Barbie foot can like elevate any like outfit, any look. Whenever we have heels on and we feel like our toes and feet and like everything look good, you have to check the arch. And if it's looking like a Barbie foot, that's how you know your foot looks yeah. good. So from this side is where you get the best judgment of yeah. if it's giving Barbie foot. And we'll always ask each other, we're like, is this photo giving Barbie foot? Is it Barbie foot? And even literally I was showing Brianna a picture and she was like, wait, am I looking at the photo? Am I looking at, for, am I no, looking, am I looking at your face or am I looking okay, at your foot? I was like, okay, well both. Yeah. Barbie foot just like, it so elevates. Whenever you have Barbie foot, just mm -hmm. know you look good. As long mm -hmm. as you have Barbie foot, you are set tough. I feel like you bought these new heels because they give Barbie they foot. They do give Barbie foot, look at it. 
Don't you dare zoom in on mine. Do you see the Barbie, Barbie foot? Do you see the arch? Brianna serves Barbie foot too, but okay, she but just. We're on like level five Barbie foot right now. You're giving level 10. Okay. This is not my best Barbie, Barbie foot. Barbie She's foot had moment. better Barbie foots for sure. But yeah, we're on the way to the premiere. And I'm so excited. The dress code said dress smart. What does that mean? I don't feel like we follow, but I feel like everyone's gonna be dressed. I look smart are. in whatever I wear. So I'm gonna dress how I want. I feel like something about this gives smart to me. Maybe not. Guys, look at my purse. Now that we're speaking about purses. Is this not <laughs> stunning? It was $150, but I bought it last minute because it's so pretty. <laughs> Mine is free. <laughs> okay. From Alex Porat. Oh, Alex gave it? Yeah, me? Alex gave it to me. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, we'll see you guys at the premiere. We're in line to pick up our tickets Barbie foot lifestyle is not for everybody. I'm including me. I'm dying right now. A lot of people dress so comfortably. We decided to wear the most uncomfortable shoes ever. And that was not very smart of us. But there's a very intense red carpet there. Not sure who's on it, but we will find out. Yeah, so very serious carpet. Some people are waving to us, but I'm like, do you actually know who you are? Or are you just waving to me? I don't know. I would love I'm, to know. I'm convinced. I'm like, nobody knows us. No one said our names. <laughs> I'm like, let's walk through the Chelsea. Photos taken and it's super exciting. And Brianna took the best photos I've ever seen. Okay, but you also dropped off with the poses. Okay. Brianna, guys, this outfit. She said Romeo Juliet. Oh, I'm like, I love that we're all opposites. I love we, the Queenie gang. We always do this. We always do this. Yeah. 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 I'm so tired. Yeah. I did not realize how big of a deal this is. Like, I thought it was going to be a long. No, it's Hunger Games. I knew. I, I knew it was going to be this big. I'm so excited. How are you feeling? Like, this is the best move ever, right? Just, we should get sleep back up to that perfect. I know, let us go. Let us in. Okay, but I'm grateful we got photos. I know. Guys, we are in the theater, and it's very exciting. And hold up. That was literally already doing it. I thought this was the UK premiere. Why does it say world premiere? Okay, and then look at this. Okay. Wait, yeah. serious question. Do you think the actors are going to be right here? Because we're near the front. Should they be right there? Because they can be up there. No one would see them, right? Something's peculiar. Either way, we're having a good view. Yeah. But this is our view, and then, and then actually, what is this side? It just kind of gives us the sketch. Very exciting. I'm so grateful. Thank you for Cineplex Pictures for setting me here. This is the best trip of my entire existence. Okay, guys, we're noticing the entire row in front of us is empty. I mean, empty. You know what I'm noticing? There is a camera guy right there. And then there's also security right there and there. I don't see any of that anywhere else. What is going on? What is actually going on? Does, do we think the cast is sitting right now? At this point, I know. At this point, you I don't know. think we know. <laughs> Let's be for real. I don't know how you go to see these, but thank you. Thank you, Cineplex Pictures, because you are the reason I know. And God, thank you, God. Thank you, Lionsgate Cineplex. Thank you, thank you Lionsgate Cineplex, Cineplex Pictures, and God. Thank you. I will be thank you in my vows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see, but it's peculiar. It is peculiar. They're either talking in front of us, or they're sitting. Or both. I think both. I hope both. We'll see. I'll let you guys know. Before I hand the mic over, uh, I, I just, just want to say thank you to all of you for being here. Thank you to our partners for helping us to bring the Hunger Games stories to UK audiences over the years. And I want to say thank you to Amy Hall for masterminding this evening's event and John Lee for your technical attention to detail and to the whole team at Lionsgate UK. I'm Joe Drake, chairman of the Lionsgate Motion Picture Group, and on behalf of the entire team, but particularly MC and the incredible UK team who made it their mission to ensure that the world premiere happened right here in your town of London, I would like to welcome you to the world premiere. Can you please join me in welcoming producers Nina Jacobson and Brad Simpson, writer Mike Leslie, and the incredible cast that is Hunter Wait, there's a Canadian embassy here? Yes. Why? 
in case like you get stranded with no passport or something. Oh, okay, guys, I'm learning about the Canadian embassy. You love this. I don't know if that's hundred percent it, but I would assume this Canadian flag. We're walking to a convenience store to get some London candy. We're gonna pass the restaurant I went to yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Because yeah, if it's open, should we go? Is it open? Uh, honest? Oh, no, well, it's way too fancy. We can't go in there. Uh, <laughs> we're in sweats. But, yeah, we're just going to go to candy store to pick some candy for souvenirs to try and stuff, you know. But that's about it. We love. Guys, we're so f***ing hungry. Nobody even understands. <gasps> is this Parmesan? Yes. Oh, my God. Yay. Brianna and I have been, like, stomach. Oh, that was really cute. Um, <laughs> our stomachs have been, like, grumbling, grumbling. I want to die. Where I'm going to cut the cameras now, I just want to show you guys. But we need to, wait, take a first bite. Mm. Is it good? Okay, guys, I need to eat. I'll see you in a bit. A morning in England, London. Oh, it's so pretty. Such a vibe. Okay, guys, we're on the way to the airport. That's it for the video. I hope you loved it. I loved it. Brianna, did you love it? I loved it. Okay. Thanks for bringing me. Of course. This has been another Sahar and Brianna vlog. Bye. Bye, my <laughs> channel.